I'm Lucinda and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well first I want to thank all my awesome Patreon members who help make it possible to create videos like this and they are Sonia Baskin, Dean Martin, Etta, Lucille Theory, Shamika Theory, Lepton Quark, Allison Jackis, Kate Theory, Ryan McMurray, and Destiny Riles. Well, thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Okay, you guys, I want to apologize first that um, my mom is actually not going to be in today's live stream. I apologize. That was a, uh, a change and I didn't have a chance to change the thumbnail in time for that in the title but I will update that if you're watching this later like when this live processes which usually takes about overnight for me to do then I'll try to get that updated with a picture of me in the thumbnail and a change of the title since she's not in today's live but I have a wonderful Dollar Tree haul I'm so excited to share with you guys y'all know that's my jam Dollar Tree and so I'm going to just get started so I got some different stuff y'all okay so first I'm going to take this out and let you guys see you know I love Dollar Tree containers and these are such a beautiful color and you know what they look pretty much the same color on camera as they do in real life this is a really pretty color it's like a bluish teal it's actually a little bit darker on camera so it's a bit lighter just a little bit but i really like this so i got nine i got all of the ones that they have because i'm going to be using these and i'm going to stack them on top of each other with stuff inside for my grandbaby i have a whole area set up you guys in the this closet right back here I have a whole section that I'm getting set up and I'll do probably a shorts video on that for you guys um, after I get it all set up so I got nine of those so that was a really good deal you know it's hard sometimes to find a color that you really like and then I got a bunch of stuff inside of here okay so I'm just gonna take it out one little piece at a time so I have not been picking up any of the Crafter Square permanent vinyl. They actually have removable vinyl as well. And the reason why is I used to have a silhouette and I we were just not friends. I could not work well with that machinery to get it to do what I wanted to do. And it just was quicker for me to just fussy cut stuff out instead of cutting out stickers. So I kind of didn't think I would ever use these at the time because I wasn't using them for stickers but I thought they are really good to use when you're just creating your own little stickers or you're cutting stuff out I can use an exacto knife I also have this little thing that my friend Nawasa that I tell you guys about all the time it's a little Fiskars it has the um gosh what did I just say y'all exacto knife on the end but you can really maneuver and get cut up close really well with this so see, it's a little exacto knife and you just put your finger in there and put your finger like that or your thumb or whatever works better for you to really get to the small spaces. So I figured I could use it for that and I could use it for uh, junk journaling when I just want a, a big section that has a, some nice color. So I got this one that's sort of a rainbow. It's got those colors and this one, these I got from a small Dollar Tree because I've gone to some other Dollar Trees that have like a whole aisle almost of those. So I'm going to go to some more and get some other ones. And then, of course, I got a pink one. So I got those things. And then I got a bunch of stickers, y'all. I also got some, some of them for my daughter. So I got twos of some stuff so that my daughter could have some because I'm getting her Mother's Day basket together because she's going to be a mother. I'm so excited. I talked to her today and hopefully she's going to come down for Mother's Day weekend. So that'll be perfect because it'll be my mom, my daughter, and me all together celebrating Mother's Day. I'm so excited about that. Okay, so all kinds of stickers y'all. So I got these super cute stickers that they're kind you know, they were in the kit yeah, I think these were in the kids section, but I love them. So I got two sets, one for me and one for her. And then let me show you what's in these. Isn't this just pretty? The packaging itself is just really pretty, right? But it's got really cute stickers. Okay, is that the front or the back? So look, they're so colorful. Is that not pretty? Look at that. Nice. I even kind of like the print on the back of each sticker 
But yeah, these are so cute and just colorful. And so I got one for me and one for her. Look at those. Is that not pretty? Yes, these are so cute, you guys. This whole little book for $1.25. So it has 600. You can't hardly see. It's so colorful on the cover. But it has 600. It says Lisa Frank. I'm not sure who she is, you guys know. But it's 600 stickers. Yeah, or over 600 stickers. And that. So I got one for her, one for me. And then I got these also. Which, you know, I just like Minnie Mouse. I feel like she a trailblazer, right? <laughs> she kind of had her own thing, even though she's a fictional character with Mickey and then Minnie. And Minnie just kind of steals the show. So I got two of those. So I'll flip through this. Now, the first ones are puffy. And I'm not usually that into this puffy of stickers. But look at her, y'all. Look at those poses. Is she not posing? <laughs> This one is my favorite right there. She's like, look, I am a superstar if you didn't know. So yeah, so all of these are really cute. I, again, I'm not normally into puffy stickers, but I, I like Minnie Mouse a lot. So I got those. And then these two, I like this one also. And these are kind of glittery, but they're so cute. So I will be using these. I sure will. And those... See, I love these. I love these poses. She's a poser. <laughs> now, what does this one say? Made you smile. Yep, she made me smile. I like these ones with the little, I like the plants in here. See, there's a little plant right there. Y'all know I'm a plant mom, so I love plants. So I just think this is so cute. So this has over 150 stickers. Now, when they say over, I wonder if that if that's true. <laughs> They're just saying over, but it's not really over. So anyway, yeah, so I got one for her and one for me of that. And then I got one for her and one for me of a couple of the little sticker books that we're kind of used to seeing at Dollar Tree. They had the same books forever. I would see the same books all the time. And now I'm seeing some new ones like these. That they're kind of the Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner stickers, but they have some new designs. So I got one for her and one for me of this one. And I'll just show you. Let me see. I thought they used to have a little picture on the back that told you what the picture uh, stickers look like. But I don't see one this time. So yeah. So that. I really love these sticker books. I think they are a phenomenal deal even at $1.25. So, yeah, now I do agree that they usually have at least a couple of pages that are the same in all of them, but all the rest of the pages are different. So I got two of those, and then I got two of these, one for her and one for me of this one. Now, I have one that's similar to this in the past, but it, it is different. It's not the same, but it kind of has the unicorns and stuff but I love it because it's so pastel and it's just sort of kawaii to me so that's a page I love pastel stickers there and then this one and this one <laughs> and this one so that's one that's basically like the other ones and this one I see a lot in other books also. And then I got one more set like that. So, very pretty. It's kind of similar to one I've had before, but it's definitely more pastel and more pink. So, of course, I love pink. So, this is so pretty, you guys. And these books are perfect for traveling, whether you're just on the go or you're going out of town and you want to bring some stickers with you. These are perfect. So yeah, look how pretty that is. Pretty. Yeah, so that's the one I'm familiar with seeing right there. And this one too. But I feel like you can never have too many hearts, right? All right, so I got those. Then I also got some other stickers. I got individuals of these. Um because I wasn't sure if she would like these, but I will see. So I got this one because, again, I'm a plant mom. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. 
And then I got some flowers. Gorgeous. And these, so I got three different sets of flowers. I think maybe I've duplicated from another haul, but, but I think I didn't. I think I was really careful. So look how pretty that is. And then this one. This is the one that I think maybe I had already, but I don't think so. But maybe. <laughs> so that's pretty, yeah. And then I got some more vintage stickers. So they are really just on top of it with these vintage stickers. I am loving it. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of vintage junk journaling, especially doing some family tree stuff. And so look at that. How pretty is that, you guys? It's gorgeous. And then this one, I'm excited. All right, so that is actually all the stickers. Not that that's not plenty, right? And then I got some more mailing envelopes that I use for my Patreon members that get the stationary packets. So I got a couple of those. I actually have found these at the 99 cent store for 99 cents, but I don't know if they went up because, you know, 99 cent store went up with everything in January also so but I got a couple of those and then I got some more baby books now I think maybe <laughs> I'm gonna be finished with baby books for a while now I say that but I have enough to have a real collection now until the baby is you know going to probably kindergarten I think so um, yeah because I even had gotten some at Goodwill so I didn't need any more but I got some more so I feel like you should start reading to the baby about Jesus really early. So I got this really nice set. This one is Joshua and the Wall. Yeah. So Bible books. And look at that artwork. It's really good. Because y'all know these books are like $3 or at least close to it. They're either between probably $2.99 and $5.99 at Walmart and other places. So $1.25. You just can't beat it. And you're telling them a true story. So, yeah. So, I got that one. And then I got Daniel in the Lion's Den. Nice. These books are so nice, you guys. And perfect for a baby, a toddler, someone who's not reading yet. Yeah. And the art. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love this spread right here. So yes, yeah, so I got that one. And then the story of Moses. Yes. Open. <laughs> I can't open. I just love the, the, you know, these are perfect for babies and toddlers because they're so thick. So that, and look at this spread. Does it make you want to be an artist for these books? So that one. The, the burning bush. And yes, God parting the sea, the Red Sea. Yes, I just love these. Okay, and then I got another one that's not that same style, but it's the Good Samaritan pop-up book. So there's the cover. And then we got the pop-up. And this one pops up too. This is just a great story to start telling a young, young person. Yeah, so I got that one. And then two more books, y'all. I got The Lady and the Tramp. This is a Disney book, The Lady and the Tramp, y'all, for $1.25. I don't know, you know, exactly how much this book is new, but I've seen these at Goodwill, but this is the brand new book with actual Disney. It's not like one of those books that are telling the story but it's a different company although i'm all down for those too but this these are the real pictures from the movie yes which the lady and the tramp is just a good movie no matter how old you are so yes it's the whole i mean it's the whole this is a lot of pages y'all for a dollar 25 so, yep, y'all know that's iconic right there. So, yeah, so yeah, it's the whole thing. And then one last book, Alice in Wonderland, which is a very fun story, too, and so very colorful. So, that one, and it is 
And now this one is not, yeah, it is Disney. So you see right here, this one is Disney too. I thought maybe it was a, you know, a different version, but it's the same. So yeah, you guys don't, if you got, I mean, even as adult, there's really, I get books to read from Dollar Tree. So this is such a good deal. Yes, very beautiful. So y'all know, same story. All right, so I got those. And then I got, um, I have been passing up the little wood pieces like this, decorative pieces from Dollar Tree. I was thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But then this time I was like, I do know what I'm going to do. So for these, I'm going to put them on like my Bible journals. Um, I'll, some of them I'll paint and I'll put, make them tags, but I'm also going to get like some jute or I can't think of what the kind of cord is called, like the black cord to make necklaces out of them and give them for gifts. So my mom and my daughter will probably get one of these uh, with some black cord for a necklace. Isn't it pretty? Or you can use it as a keychain or, you know, just about anything. You can decorate, use some permanent glue. And so I'm excited that I got those. And then this one, I'm going to put on a vintage junk journal. Yes, look at those clocks, you guys. I should have gotten more than, more than this. I should have gotten some more and maybe given that as a gift. But that is so pretty. All right. And then I got stamps. So y'all, you know, Dollar Tree has been having the same set of stamps for forever, at least in my experience. Wherever I would go, I get the same stamps and I already got those and I would never find any new ones, but I finally found a new set. And so these so pretty with the butterflies and the bee and the dragonfly and it says enjoy the little things i love this i cannot wait to use this one and it's so pretty yeah so i got that then i also got you know i always try to scavenge around in the um, home the wall art section and see if i see any pretty ladies that i can junk journal with or art journal with and so i found another lady which is nice Hello, thank you so much for the four hearts, Delmas96, welcome. Whoever else is on today, please chime in. I said earlier when I opened up, I apologize, my mom is not actually going to be in today's uh, live stream, and I just didn't have a chance and time to change the thumbnail and the title, but I'll get that updated in time for anyone who watches after it processes, probably starting tomorrow. Yeah, so if you're on, say hi so I can say hi to you. So I got that. And then I also got these, cut. well, I'll actually show you these first. So I got these. Show you one at a time, okay? So this one is Winnie the Pooh. It's the I Can Learn with Pooh Early Skills. And it says 36 illustrated cards, including directions and a Pooh collector card. This fun learning game teaches young children to group things which go together with Pooh and his friends. And so it has... Pooh's colors and shapes. Oh, I guess maybe those are other. Oh, the other ones you can get are Pooh's colors and shapes, Pooh's number match, and Pooh's first words. Yeah, so like here's an example right here. It has hammer. Can you see right here? It has hammer and nail. So you match those card. One card is hammer, one card is nail. So yeah, so that would be so cute. So I will use that. And then also I'm going to junk journal in my baby book that I DIY'd. You guys, I, that was my previous video, so check that out. I created part of it in my last haul last week, or not last haul, my last live last week, and then I finished it, and I did a video um, also for that. So I'll link both of those for you guys. But I'm going to be putting this in, some of this in there as well. And then this one, which is Paw Patrol. Yeah, and it is, let me see, what is it for? So it's Paw, 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 can't talk, Paw Patrol. And, you know, it doesn't tell me, I guess it's, oh, they're just cards. They're playing cards. Yeah, because they've got Ace of Spades and Ten of Clubs. They're just playing cards. Yeah. So I thought I would be using these to do some junk journaling as well. Uh, so we'll see because they're so adorable, y'all. And then I got one other set of those cards. Uh, cards like that for me actually <laughs> because I felt like this looked just very kawaii to me and I like the pastels and the colors so this is Peppa Pig jumbo cards and they're playing cards also so I'm going to be journaling for me I might even include it in some 
uh, planning as well, but it's so pretty. Yeah, so I got that. And then I got some really cute cups. This is a great deal. Four little cups for $1.25. And this is with the the kids. And actually, this wasn't in the kids section. This was in the summer section. But I needed a little cup because whenever I help my dad uh, get ready in the morning and for his teeth and everything, he needs a little cup because I all my glass cups and everything are glass. I didn't have anything that was plastic except for a really tall cup. And that just is wasting water because then I need to put so much water in it for them. So I thought I just need to get a little short cup and they actually had a set of four there for $1.25. And so I'll just save the other three for my grandbaby. <laughs> All right. And then this was in the baby section and it's just a little garland. It's really, really cute. And I actually got it to junk journal with. So I will be using this packaging for junk journaling. And I'll also be using this. Uh, this it's Oh, my husband. I hope he's not watching this. I should have warned him before I got to this part. Because remember, he doesn't want to know what the sex is. So um, I'll tell him, don't watch this video. Or I'll tell him at what point to stop watching it. And then I got, uh, it's really pretty. This cord is very pretty too. So I can use that to junk journal as well. All of these pieces I can use to junk journal. So yeah, it's so cute. So I got that. And so that's everything that came out of that tub. But then I got some more for y'all. So just give me a second to move some of this out the way. So I can show you. Oops, I hit the tripod. Sorry about that. I'm just going to move some of this out the way, you guys, so I can get to the other stuff for you. Okay, I'm ready. So then I also got some um, home and garden stuff. Oh, I just, did I take that off? Okay, so I got eight, I think, of these. Yeah, I got eight of these, and aren't they pretty? I needed to get some more solar lights. And I think I can replace the batteries in some of them, but I still needed more light in the area that I'm looking to do it where most of my gardening part is uh, on the back patio because there's plenty of light on the front. And I just thought these were so pretty and just they're like crystal looking and just a wonderful shape. And, you know, you can easily take these off and drop them into like a glass jar because I reuse my glass jars from groceries and stuff. And you can make just a little centerpiece of lights. And then, you know, you can hang this on stuff and make a little chandelier or what, what have you outside. And it's just so pretty. So I got eight of those. And I thought that was an awesome deal, you guys. And then I got a couple of scarves. So one of the scarves I'm wearing. Can you guys see that? I think it is really pretty. It's got yellow and gray. And I really thought it reminded me of bumblebees, even though there are no bees on there, just the colors did. And so I want to let you know what I do because this was actually an infinity scarf and so was this one. And it was just so pretty. Is this not pretty, you guys? Look at all that purple and pink. I love it. It's gorgeous. So what I do when I find really beautiful infinity scarves at Dollar Tree, because I use them for head wraps, is I, um, I just cut it open. So I go to, let me see if I can show you. So this is where the seam was. And I just, oh, that's backwards. Okay. That's where the stitching was. Here's the other side. And I just cut, can you see where I cut along the seam? And then I just take my, to, to separate the fact that it's an infinity scarf. And then I take my little lighter from Dollar Tree and I just sear where that, where I cut it so that it doesn't unravel. So I just sear that without burning the scarf. I just, you know, bring it close without burning it. And then on the other side where I've cut it, then I just sear that as well. You can kind of see. Yeah, and that way I have one long piece and I can do whatever I want with it. Yeah, <laughs> so I got that. So I found those two really pretty scarves. I also got this. I haven't tried it. So if you guys have, let me know if it's any good. But this is nail oil and nail, sorry, cuticle oil and nail strengthener. So I got a couple of these. I used to use these a long time ago, but you know, I spent years not doing my nails at all. 
but now that I'm doing them regularly and it tends to get really dry at different seasons here I mean it's the desert right <laughs> and uh, so I wanted to really take care of them anytime I have a period between polishing and just in general so I got two of those and then I got this I just needed another one of these for my cell phone and I'll show you guys later how I set that up because I'm changing it up a little bit. But this for the ring finger, hold your phone in your hand type thing and for the stand. But I'll show you guys that in a short how I'm setting that up. And then I needed another little hand sanitizer. I prefer to make my own hand sanitizer, but I like to reuse these bottles. And the other one is with my travel carry on stuff. And I wanted a separate one for my purse. And so there's that. It's just so pretty and pink, you guys. <laughs> and this one is actually a pomegranate and vanilla scent. But again, after I use what's inside, I'll make my own. And then I got a bunch of this soap. You've probably seen it in some... Oh, smells good outside of the package. You've probably seen it in some other hauls, but it's oatmeal and lemon... Ver oatmeal plus lemon verbena plant-based scented soap and it is vegan you guys and you know I'm vegan if you follow my channel and so I love to buy all of the vegan products at Dollar Tree so they'll keep bringing them and so I got a bunch of these so I used one already no I didn't I didn't use one of these I used a different one I'll tell you about that so I got one two three four I got four of this one and it smells really good outside of the package and then I got two of this one, which I did use for my self-care this past Sunday. And this one is actually by Bolero, and it's plant-based bar soap, and it is hibiscus rose. And it says on the back right here, right there, that it's vegan. And I have some hibiscus rose, I don't know, it was something in hibiscus, or rose and something else. Um, oil to put on you know face oil serum that I got from Dollar Tree and so these uh, scents are very similar and I really liked it enjoyed that for my self-care this past Sunday so I got that and then I found a couple more Valero soaps that are also vegan or actually one more but I bought two and it is peppermint and tea tree plant derived from Valero just in that packaging just looks so nice right and it, and it looks kind of you know sort of depending on how you think um sort of wintry looking or maybe even uh something that your husband would like but it's peppermint and tea tree and it also says right there that it is vegan so i got those so y'all i got a lot of soap now because i bought some before and uh so we're set for a little while here in this household with some soap and then I got a few more things. I think that's everything that was in that batch. And just a few more things, you guys. I got this. Isn't this cute? So now that I'm having a grandbaby, <laughs> I'm going to junk journal with this on the page when the baby actually arrives. This is going to be a big spread for in the baby's baby book. And that's just perfect, is it not? That's just perfect that's just perfect okay and then I got uh, a couple of gnome a couple of gnome things and I forgot again I need to go back and get some for my friend Penny I hope they're still there because I did remember her from the last video when I told you guys I need to go back and get some gnome stuff from my friend Penny I did remember and I got everything for her that I wanted to get so and she liked it she likes gnomes so look at this y'all stars and stripes is that not the cutest how cute is that <laughs> so cute stars and stripes and then i got this one it has usa with a little firecracker dollar tree you're doing it you're making me spend this money and i'm happy and then i got this one that i'm going to do a spread or spreads for when we celebrate the fourth of july or independence day this year so that is so cute. Yeah, I need to go back and get a few of these for some different friends. Yeah, and then I got just a few more things. I'm almost done, y'all. 
I wanted to store some snacks in the car for whenever we're going to appointments and things with my dad and uh, and just in general when you're on the go and you want and you something's taking longer and it's getting close to lunchtime or dinner time and you don't want to go and spend money at a fast food place or you know have the carbs or the calories from the fast food place so i found a couple of things at dollar tree one was nuts and i, I think i already opened that package so i'm uh, or was it some chips? I can't remember what it was. But the other thing was this. So they had other packages of pretzels that were fewer in ounces. They had one that, this is 10 ounces. They had one that was 12 ounces, but they were a lot thinner. And I like the really thick pretzels like this. So these are pretzel rods. They're 10 ounces by Snyder's of Hanover. And, you know, I looked in the back to make sure there was no sugar. And there's no sugar. There's, um... Total sugar zero includes zero added sugars. And there's no like dext maltodextrin or dextrin or any of that in it. And so, yeah, that's a good little snack whenever you're just trying to make it till you get home. <laughs> so I got that and, and I wanted stuff to, that I could, that wouldn't melt, like wouldn't go bad in the heat. And so that would be really good along with the nuts and then i just got another paper towel holder because i needed one for the bathroom for my parents and then i got four of these i've actually used two already and i wanted kept out a couple so i could show you guys so i love the wider ones of these that are for like soda cans or cans of vegetables for my refrigerator and for can storage in the pantry and i use them in the refrigerator to store fruit so I actually have four in two drawers. I have tons of fruit. Um, that's what we basically snack on. And um, and they, I have two, but I have enough room in between the two to fit these, to put more things. And so I, they look perfectly in my refrigerator. <laughs> they look perfect. So I got those. And then that is everything. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe and comment and share it really helps my channel a lot and it helps that YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos you guys I want to really thank you hey Suzanne how are you it's so good to see you <laughs> you're very very welcome I'm glad I saw your face today thank you I want to thank all of you guys for supporting my channel and for just for supporting me, period. For supporting me as a sister in Christ, as another human being, as a woman, as a child of God. Just thank you guys for really being there for me and, and for allowing me to be there for you and to be able to encourage you and for us to just minister to one another. It really matters to me. And it is the why, the reason why I do what I do, why I am on YouTube. So thank you guys so much. I want to encourage you to please take care of yourself, take care of your mind, body, and spirit, because when one area suffers, they all suffer. You guys continue to pray for me, and I'll continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone. Oh, thank you so much, Suzanne. You are an encouragement to me, too. Thank you. You are a blessing. Until next time, everyone. Happy planning.